Okay, so this is my pantry and it is a hot mess right now. I'll let you see it from top to bottom. My uh, attempt is going to be to reorganize this thing. I pretty much have a little bit of everything in here. The craft items and gifts that you saw that I posted yesterday. Um, those are um, some quilts that I had washed in intended to put away either upstairs or downstairs. I'm not really sure which room I'm gonna put them in yet. Um, these are just extra Tupperware bowls. Um, these are just extra Tupperware bowls that I do use um, as well as the, as well as the cookie sheets, the mats. Um, I use those as well. And then over here we've got aprons, uh, grandkids' aprons, um, jacket, bags, uh, pretty much you name it, it's here. And my granddaughter's robe, whichever one's here. Um, washer and dryer. Up there I do have my, my cleaning cloths. I bought these crates at Ikea with the intention of doing them all the way across. We have our Starlink thing there, so I'm not sure if it's gonna get in the way. Got my baskets up there, my clips from Ikea. I've got to do something with these uh, cloths. I kind of went crazy a little bit. I found these cloths in Germany that I really liked. Found them on Amazon because I'm I'm an Amazon fanatic. Um, baggies that I attempted to start saving to use in my restroom where I have a wooden basket. Some downy um, little freshener scents that I don't really use anymore because they just they just have so many chemicals in them and then just some different softeners and uh, other detergents that I don't really use anymore uh, keys and that crate there is literally filled with dishcloths like every season you can think of bought me another pair of um, house shoes that I didn't need but I love house shoes and I love gnomes so I washed them and they are air drying um Got an inside broom because I just like having an inside broom. Um, I did buy this at, I bought this at Ikea and it's got a nice flip. And my intention with this was to just put um, towels and dishcloths and anything, you know, basically blankets and wash those in one load together. And then in here I've got my, uh, so I started making my own detergent. So I've got uh, my detergent in here and I do still have some of those little downy, fresh um actually I think they're drift um the little smelly things in there that I did I don't think you're able to see that I don't know if you can see that um so I do I do have those in there and then and this one is just the um the one that I use for the darks so I'm trying to get through that before I dispose of that but these I don't know if you guys saw these um lows um the Lowe's boxes. I'm not really good at maneuvering. These are the Lowe's plastic containers I use for the detergents. And then here I've just got some detergent I'm trying to finish up. And then the salsuds and the um and then this other Charlie soap. Um I saw recommended on several YouTube channels that I that I watch. Uh several of the, the ladies use that and had, had really good reviews. Back here I've got some of my favorites. From Ikea. I love mushrooms, strawberries, bumblebees, hedgehogs, gnomes. These have little red um, mushrooms on that we're going to put jelly in that we're going to make for Christmas gifts. Um, so I picked those up at my last um, Ikea run. And then on this wall here, we've got to get that off the door because it's not good for the door, the pressure that it puts on it. I've got my uh, floor cleaning solutions um, and you literally just, uh, use water on those. I, I just use vinegar on my floor. The only cleaners that I use anymore are vinegar, Dawn, and water, I think. And then I do put lemon in there. I think I told you all that yesterday. And these are just some, uh, cleaning pads from Norwex that I really like. They work great. And this particular one's from Ikea. It works great as well. Um, this is a new item that I got. Uh, from Norwex that I'm going to use. It does windows. It scrubs bathrooms. So in, And the handle goes up and down, so it's really great for size. These containers are all filled with um, 
non-perishable items, cookies, spices, noodles, pasta, rice, flour, you name it, I've got it in there. More canning jars. Like I said, I've got a great idea. I just have got to get it all together. So that is what I'm going to show you. This is the before and I will go through the after with you shortly. Um, some of the items that I do have in my pantry are, of course, I've got all the flowers up there. One of my grandchildren is um, has to do gluten-free, so I'm trying to learn some recipes on that. that. That Ikea crate up there is literally full of Ikea baggies because I love their baggies, but I am trying to do away with using plastic baggies. Um, just different rices, spices, um, beans, Got some herbal lights going on back there that I did at one point. Just jellies, all kinds of stuff. I'll do a detailed pantry once it's cleaned up. But this is the before and I will do an after.